Hi, I'm Scovia and I love showing you how to make simple and delicious recipe. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make meatballs and it's going to be a very simple recipe with minimal ingredients but very delicious. So stay tuned until the end of the video and learn how to make this amazing meatball recipe. <laughs> also if you like watching my videos don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up and also share with a friend let her or him learn how to learn how to make this amazing meatball so here i have minced meat my minced meat is a little bit fatty because you don't want lean lean minced meat <laughs> your, 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 your meatballs won't be juicy so it has a little bit of fat so to my bowl, I'm going to add one large egg. This is a very large egg. <laughs> so I'm going to add my egg. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. We want our meatballs to be well seasoned. Some black pepper. And you find all the ingredients listed in the description box down below and garlic powder then i'm going to add some of my some of my garlic and ginger paste like half of it then i'm going to use my hands and mix in all the ingredients make sure your hands are clean When everything is well combined, at this point, I'm going to add in breadcrumbs. I'm adding my breadcrumbs at this point because I wanted all the garlic and ginger and spices to be well combined in the meat so that I can add my breadcrumbs. So I'm going to massage in my breadcrumbs until everything is combined. You make sure to press in the breadcrumbs so that they can soak in the egg like that see everything is combined the egg is to help us bind all the ingredients together if you don't like egg you can skip the egg you'll just add a little bit of milk like a tablespoon of milk at this point everything is well combined I'm going to shape my meat to, into a ball, just an average size ball, like that one. I'm going to place it in a plate. Make sure the balls are average size or they're the same size. <laughs> you don't want some to be big and others are small. You can also use a scoop to scoop up the meat, ice cream scoop. At this point, you can let your kids help you shape the balls because it is fun, it is like molding. <laughs> so they you let them help you make the meatballs and they'll be so happy. So if you're watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, let's grow. Let's grow together. Also, you can follow me at Instagram, in foods underscore specials. I have amazing content and I'm always posting. So follow me so that you won't miss out the recipes. This is my last meatball. I'm going to place my ball aside. Yeah, my table a little bit then i'll move over to the stove top and on medium heat i'm going to add cooking oil just a little bit of oil then i'm going to let my oil get hot my oil is hot so i'm going to add in my meatballs carefully and my pan is very large <laughs> I wanted to add in all the meatballs. Make sure the balls are not too crowded. I'll keep 
turning my bowl so that they don't burn. So I'm using medium flame, so don't add too much flame so that your meatballs won't burn. You keep flipping as they cook. This is after about three to four minutes. So I've been flipping and turning my meatballs so that they don't burn. And as you can see, they have that gorgeous golden brown color. So I'm going to transfer my meatballs to my plate. They're smelling so good. So I'm going to place this aside and then in the same pan, I'm going to add in onions. Then I'm going to pick a spatula. We're using the same oil that we used to fry or sear our meatballs. And it's full of flavors from the spices to the meat garlic and ginger everything so i'm going to cook my onions until soft once my onions are soft i'm going to add in garlic and ginger the remaining garlic and ginger Stir. and cook until fragrant Then at this point, I'm going to add in my tomatoes. So they're blended tomatoes. Stir. When blending my tomatoes, I added assorted peppers and zucchini. So I used half a zucchini. That is going to make my sauce to be even more thick. <laughs> So to this I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. I'm just going to add about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper because I added in my meatballs. Add some cumin seeds. Rico cube. Then stir. So I let the tomatoes cook together with the spices until thick or until cooked through. Then I'm going to add in my meatballs. Make sure all the meatballs are coated with the sauce. And if you notice that your sauce is drying out, you can add a little bit of water so that the meatballs can cook through. Once everything is well combined, I'm going to check my seasoning. I need a little bit of salt. So I'm going to add in some salt. Star. Then I let this simmer on low for around five minutes. This is how my meatballs are looking at this point and as you can see the sauce is very thick. I'm going to turn off the heat and serve. So over here I have mashed potatoes that I had prepared earlier. I just peeled my potatoes, added the potatoes in my pot with boiling water, added salt, garlic and ginger and then whole ginger and garlic that is. <laughs> and then I drained the water and mashed my potatoes. Yeah. That is a simple recipe. So I'm going to serve my meatballs and they are looking juicy. So my family today is going to enjoy having 
meatballs with mashed potatoes and it's going to be very delicious so i hope you try out the recipe at home and if you love it share with a friend the recipe so that she or he can also try out the recipe so catch you on my next episode bye